Well, I, I suppose it, it, I'll have to get enthusiasms. That's probably a good way of putting it. What I'd like to have happen is something delights me. And that's a discovery and that's a surprise. So you can't quite plan that. And I know I'm there when, I've, when I myself am delighted. A lot of my inspiration, I guess you could say, came out of a literary, my literary background. And when I was a boy, I would get enthusiastic about a subject like the voyageurs that paddled the canoes. I just thought those were the coolest guys ever. <laughs> That's what's likely to happen with me. I, I read a book, I see a piece of art somewhere, I think about something, and I get on to it. I think what I would like to be able to do is be fluid. And, and so if I can find a place between them. I love, I love to do a figure. I love to clarify the expression. I love to do, um, you know, a, a recognizable character like this. This one here is a different sort of thing entirely. We had this um, fellow that would boarded with us for a, a little while, but he had, he would go outside and with a cup of coffee and smoke a cigarette, and I said, hey, outside man. I said, man, I got to do a sculpture of you, and he laughed at that. I said, no, I mean, I'm serious, so, so he said, okay. So I didn't have anything in mind, I just loved the figure. A at the same time, it's nice to be able to do a piece that's, you have to, you look around and it, keep, and it changes on you, and you're not for sure you know what it is. I, I like that also. So uh, more being fluid, that's what I'd like to be, so that it's somewhere, it's suggestive, and that the viewer has more room to involve themselves in it. I'd just like to say I'm very grateful for having living, lived in this town. And uh, it's a real pleasure to, to be a part of the arts community here and to hopefully enrich it or add my own to the mix.